Hi everyone, welcome to another video of Sunday Morning Drives. Today we have the Ford Mustang GT. This has a 5 liter V8 engine in it. Yep. It's a very amazing looking car. This is the new generation of the Mustang. Yeah, I love the look. I think it looks really modern. It looks really sporty. Hmm. Uh, definitely looks better than the previous generations. I really like it. Uh, so this one has 486 horsepower because it has the active exhaust. Hmm. It's got 467 newton meters of torque. Yeah, it's about 30 horsepower more than the last hmm. generation and about uh, 10 newton meters more as well. Yeah. Um, so you're definitely getting a bit of band for your buck here. And today we'll do a full review of this car, of the inside, the outside, and do a little drive and see how it feels. All right, everyone, driving the Ford Mustang GT. And the very first thing you notice, even when you start the car, is of course that big five liter V8. And the five liter, Coyote V8 is always there mm. from when you start the car mm. to when you pull off to when you pass the car like that. The it's, torque is there, right? Yeah, it's Because it's, it's good a torque. very big displacement engine. Yep. So it's got plenty of torque. Yeah. Plenty yeah. of power. Even down low in the rev range, like here we're only you know doing 1,100 revs mm. and you put your foot down and you can still feel the car actually getting pushed forward. Because it's naturally aspirated as well, right? Yes, so correct. there's pretty much, if you're in the right gear, there's yep. no lag at all. And in normal mode, the gearbox is actually really good. It's really smooth, mm. it shifts really seamlessly, and it selects most of the time the right gear. Mm. And to be honest, because it's a 10-speed automatic, I would kind of just leave it in automatic mode all the time. Yes. Because otherwise, if you're trying to shift manually, mm. there's a lot of gears to go through, right? <laughs> That's right. You have to pull down the pedal, pedal <laughs> like so many times, yeah. yeah. Now the other great thing that I like about this car is that the steering is pretty sharp. It actually mm. feels pretty good, it's nicely weighted. Mm. And even in normal mode, the steering wheel, the exhaust, everything, it makes you feel like it's a sports car. And it's also, it feels quite solid, right? Yeah. Feels yeah. Doesn't feel like your typical American muscle car, <laughs> right? Yeah. It, it's quite solidly built. That's right. Everything inside is really tight, uh, solid, no squeaking, no rattling. Yep. And the visibility is so good. It's a big car though. It is a big car. And it's quite heavy. It's, yeah. It's weighing at around 1.8 tons. 1.8 tons. Yes, it's a heavy car. Yeah. I, I think you only feel the weight when you really push it in the corners. Mm. If you're not pushing it too hard in the corners, mm. uh, and, and maybe if you're not in the right gear when you put your foot down, it is a little bit slow to respond. Mm. Um, but, you know, it's actually really, really good at managing its weight. Mm. Uh, the brakes are really good. The brakes are awesome, actually. They're probably one of the, some of the best brakes that I've ever used on mm. any car. Mm. They have a lot of feedback and you can really stop the car very, very quickly. And it has a lot of grip. So in terms of, you know, driving the car fast, it gives you a lot of confidence, actually. It, it is really fun to drive fast. Yeah, it actually rides really well. Um, mm, so I agree. Um, there's passive dampers, there's no active dampers, mm. but I think they've tuned it well enough yes. that it actually handles most situations really well. Mm. And it actually manages the body roll quite easily as well. Mm. Like here we're just on a, on a little cruise corner here, like not pushing it too hard. But you don't really notice the body roll in these little corners. Mm. And then when you go into sports mode, oh, here we go, let's go into sports mode. Um, the exhaust starts opening up. And I think the steering wheel actually sharpens up and it gets a little bit heavier as well. Mm. So it does feel like you're in a slightly different mode or you know, you're pushing the car a little bit more. Mm. Um, and I think the throttle response, oh yeah, the throttle response, you can definitely tell it's much better in sport mode. In normal mode, the throttle response is pretty lazy. Like it feels like an old school American V8 muscle car. Mm. But in, in sports mode, oh, it actually, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty good. Sounds so good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, sound alone is worth the money, I think. <laughs> uh, I think this car is a bit of a bargain, really, when you think about it. You I know, know. A V8 5 liter muscle car yeah. that has all this technology, yeah. it drives really well, it's pretty comfortable. It's for it what? Looks, for for ninety two thousand yeah. dollars, New Zealand dollars. Yeah, yeah. I, I think these kind of car. We're lucky that they still exist, right? Yeah, In yeah, today's yeah. world. I agree. Uh, yep. And. These cars, I, I think, they just put a smile on your face. They do, yeah. It's just fun. I mean, it's just a fun car. It doesn't have to be the fastest. <laughs> no. Or like the, the, the quickest through the, the twisties or the corners. Yeah. But just driving it yeah. on the back roads yeah. just makes you smile, right? Yeah. Uh, you can take it to the track because of the price range. Yep. 
you don't feel that precious yeah, yeah. in terms of you know usability of this car right exactly. in, in exactly. all these kind of scenarios mm. oh yeah <laughs> oh, i love the sound oh, the brakes are so good i know <laughs> the brakes are great they feel really nice you know yes. they feel really solid yes <laughs> Wow, pushing it a little bit on the back roads. <laughs> oh my god, this feels so much fun. For an electric assisted rack. It's really good. This is really good. I'm, I'm really shocked actually. Um, it's got quite a bit of feedback. Yeah. And also the weight of it is quite adequate. Yes. It's quite good yes. for a sports car. Yep. Um, it's very sharp as you as you mentioned yeah. before. It turns really good. Um, yeah. I would have to say the suspension, it's a little bit jumpy. Uh, I, you, you can feel like on these quite rough uh, New Zealand back roads, yeah. uh, it, it jumps up and down a little bit. Because of the weight and size of it, you do feel it's a bit large yeah. for this kind of really narrow and really kind of really twisty corners. Yeah. Um, if you're pushing it too hard, this does feel a little bit out of place mm. um, and it starts to play funny things. Yeah. Um, start to understay a little bit. Uh, because it's, it's just so heavy and so yeah. big. If you use the pedals, right now, fifth gear, fourth gear. If you shift gear yourself, this gearbox is actually not slow. It's a, it's a traditional auto. Mm. Uh, it's not dual clutch. Yep. But it's pretty fast. Yep. I mean, I can downshift like three gears like really quickly, mm. and the car, you know, it's, it's not upset. No, uh, it still runs really smoothly. Just push it along. Upshift is also really quick. Mm. So if you do wanna drive this like manually using the pedals, you can. Yeah, for yeah, for ninety-two thousand New Zealand dollars, what else can you buy that gives you this much fun? You know, <laughs> a V, a big V eight. Rear wheel drive, yeah, it's actually a really, really cool car. I do have to say though, I think the Coyote engine compared to the Voodoo engine, mm. which I had in the GT350, mm. this engine do feel a bit lazier. It is a bit lazy. So the <laughs> throttle response is not as sharp. Yep. Even though it's naturally aspirated, yes. you do feel the revs builds up quite slowly. Yeah. But I, I really like how they've focused a lot on the driver inputs. Mm. So the steering wheel, the, the pedals, you know, the brake and the accelerator pedal, they're all at the right weight. Mm. And also just the sound, mm. like all the sensors that you have when you're driving the car, they've been tuned really, really well, I think. Um, better than some of the other cars we've driven, like in more expensive cars, the cars that double or more the price. That's unbelievable. The new generation definitely looks more aggressive in my opinion. You can see there are a lot of grills in the front that's all functional. These are pretty large for your radiators, your cooling. This one's functional as well, but unfortunately this one is blocked up. Uh, in the front I really like these lights. Right now they are not on. Oh, here we go. So there are two little lights here. The daytime running light is a little bit different from the previous generation. And there are LED lights inside here. So on the bonnet here, there is a vent. It's quite large actually, to allow hot air to escape from the engine bay. This design is actually quite different from the last generation where the last generation had two small ones on the front over here. So they are 19 inch wheels, both front and back. But in terms of width, the front is 255 and the rear is 275. These rims look quite good and I like the color. The dark gunmetal color actually matches this black color really, really well. And looking at the caliper, this is huge. Look at the it? disc. Amazing. <laughs> it's it's um, massive. Yeah, massive <laughs> brakes. Usually some of these um, performance cars at the rear, they won't give you such big calipers. But for the Mustang GT, Look at the rear calipers. <laughs> it's they massive, are, yeah. They're almost as big as some of the front, <laughs> front ones front for some of the sports cars yeah, out yeah, there, yeah. right? They are massive That's and huge. they are four yeah. piston uh, 
calipers as well. Wow. So the front has six <laughs> pistons and the rear has four pistons. The profile of the car hasn't changed much. It's very typical Mustang looking. Uh, has this really nice slope back and a large hunch at the back to give the car a very aggressive, very wide look. We've just found out something really interesting on the rear window. There's an evolution of the silhouette of the side of the Mustang from the first generation to the current generation. It looks so cool. This is really nice detail. And also inside the trunk space over here, there is also a graphic silhouette of the side of the car. That's also quite interesting and nice detail as well. So at the back, it has changed a lot from the last generation and it seems lower as well, the whole body of the back. Mm. And these lights are really, really nice. They have an angle to it and they are very, very sculptured. Uh, looks amazing at night. And down here, we have the quad exhaust. <laughs> So the rear loading space is actually huge, isn't it? Yeah. Um, this is the thing about the Mustangs, they're really practical. And there's a large subwoofer over here and down here. Even there's more no, space. There's no spare tire, but more space for your storage yep. and a tire repair kit. Let's look at the heart of the beast, the V8 engine, everyone. I uh, need to get it open first. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, but you can see that the engine sits actually quite far back. Yes. Uh, in the chassis, which is quite cool. So that's the line of the your axle. suspension tower, right? Yep, yep. And the engine sits actually like midway, right? Pretty much right in the middle, yeah, exactly. Uh, and then we've got two big, massive throttle bodies here, two big air filters, and obviously the big, nice looking V8 engine at the back. Um, there's a factory strut brace as well, which is really good for performance. And it's really awesome that you can still see all of the coil packs on the side here. So this is where the cylinders are, obviously. Uh, so you can get to the coil packs, get to the spark plugs really easily. Right, so the first thing that you see when you jump in here is the gear lever. Um, it's a very old school kind of gear lever. I actually do like it, it looks like a sort of manual gear shift. And I do like the fact that it's a physical gear shifter instead of one of those button ones that you press or one of those little levers that you kind of push. Um, and then you might notice this really weird handbrake thing. Uh, there is no physical handbrake in this car. They've just made it look like a physical handbrake. So you can pull it up to activate the handbrake and then you can push it down to release the handbrake. Um, and then the other thing is the steering wheel. Uh, I really like the steering wheel. Uh, it's pretty good in the hand, like it's a good shape. And I like the design, it's all leather. Uh, and you've got a few buttons on the sides here. It's, it's not too complicated actually. It's a pretty simple steering wheel for today's standards and, and that's nice. Um, and then you've got your paddle shifters here. Um, I wish the paddles felt a little bit better. They still click uh, like a little bit, uh, but I wish it was just a little bit better of a click. Um, the other thing I noticed as well about the whole interior is that it's very good quality. Mm. I'm actually quite surprised like how good the interiors of these cars are now, mm. um, especially considering the price. I mean, you've got lots of leather actually, exactly. like the center console here is full leather. And then the, the dash here is mostly leather as well. There's a little bit of plastic up here but it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's soft touch plastic and it actually looks quite nice. And then you've got this sort of plastic carbon fiber material in the middle. All right, you're getting plenty of storage as well for your money. So here we've got a wireless phone charger. We've got a little bit of a storage slot. We've got some door bins that can fit some small water bottles. Uh, we've got the two cup holders in the middle here, which are really cool. I actually really like the design here. It looks really good. Um, and then you also get the center console, which is actually pretty deep and can store quite a lot of stuff. There's a cigarette lighter socket in there. And I think a, maybe a USB. Um, there's a cigarette socket there and a couple of USB at the front. So there's plenty of um, space for your charging. And then you've also got quite a large glove box uh, in the passenger side. So yeah, plenty of storage actually. Uh, and then the other thing is the seats. Love the seats, Frank. Yeah. The seats are really nice actually. Yes. They're like really a comfy. big sofa, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, really, really comfy. You can tell again, it's really high quality. It's very good quality leather. There's perforated leather here because it's heated and cooled seats. 
So for the recline function, it's manual. For the forward and back and up and down, it's electric. Mm. So it's kind of half electric, half manual. Mm. Uh, and also for the lumbar support, it's electric. So there is a tab over here that you pull yep. to release the, the seat. Yep. So you can get in and out to the back area. So I'm about 1.75 as well. Yep. So sitting back here, it's okay. My head is pretty much touching the roof, <laughs> the ceiling, the glass. <laughs> But I have okay leg room. Yeah. This can fit like a, an adult for yeah. like a short journey, no problem. That's not bad at all. Yeah, yeah considering the shape of the car as well. That's, that's right. And we have ISO fixes down here for your child seat, for both seats here, here, and over here and here. Mm. And obviously two seat belts for two passengers. Straps you can pull and fold down the seats. Wow. So again, this is so practical. Um, again, as I mentioned, you can fit a lot of space in here, stuff yeah. in here. Um, luggage, your spare wheels for your track day. Um, yeah, this is a very, very practical sports car. All right, so the very first thing you see when you start the car is this massive screen. It is humongous. First of all, on this side, we've got the multi-display control. So you can actually control the middle of the screen by pressing these buttons on the right-hand side of the steering wheel. And so you get your gauges, you get more gauges, oh, lots of sensors, wow. Yeah. yeah, that's really cool, look at this. They even have cylinder head temperature. That's right. Engine oil temperature, yes. transmission oil temperature. Uh, you've got a whole bunch of cruise control buttons on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. You've also got this button, which is the driver assist. Mm. So if you want to turn off lane keep assist, you can. Yes. And all the uh, cruise control buttons are right beside it as well. Mm. All right, so let's take you through the modes and exactly what the modes do. So in order to change modes, you've got to press these two buttons on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. So if I press that, it goes into um, the modes, uh, normal mode, sport mode. Oops, let's do that. Uh, we have racetrack, we have drag strip. We have slippery and then we have custom as well, which oh, we'll figure out how to do I later. love the graphics, eh? Yeah, very Gran Turismo, it looks yes, nice. Yes, very, very nice. <laughs> and the gauges changes too, right? Yeah, that's right. So when you go into normal mode, there's normal gauges and then you go to sport mode and then you get the funny gauges on the side. They're not funny. They're, they're interesting. Yeah, there you go. Um, and then also, if you go into racetrack mode, you get the massive rev counter up, up the top here. Look at this. Woo! Don't so you like it's that? like the, the Ford GT, the F1 sort of uh, rev counter look. Oh, wow. <laughs> rev that up again. Oh, look at that. And then you also can change the weight of the steering wheel by pressing this button on the right hand side. So you can get comfort steering, which I guess means that the steering wheel gets lighter. Uh, and then you get sports steering. And I think in sports steering, the, se the whole steering rack actually speeds up. Yeah, custom mode. So right? custom mode. Yeah. So in the custom mode, you can actually change all ah, this. Your, dri your, right. your driving, is it, do you want a sport, track, drag yeah. strip, your steering, right. traction your traction control, control exhaust. your exhaust. Yeah. So, and there's profiles. Ah, you can profile one, two, wow. three, four, five, six. Holy So crap. I think this button here, if yeah. you press that. That's right. It goes straight into this menu here. Right. So that's the pony button. This is yes. the most important button, the, the pony. pony button. Mm. Ooh, that's interesting. Wow. Normal sport. Oh, you can do classic dolls. Oh, <laughs> oh that's so cool. That's awesome. Wow. Oh my God. Well, nice one Ford, nice. Fox body. Oh my God, <laughs> this is so cool. That's awesome. Oh my God. <laughs> this is SVT what we've always Cobra. wanted. Cobra. <laughs> so in the Mustang setup menu, we also have track apps. So you can do your zero to a hundred. Oh my God, this is, this is so cool. <laughs> you can eh? do a quarter mile. You can do a quarter mile and all that. <laughs> okay. Obviously, we're not gonna do that today in sort of this kind of weather. <laughs> Definitely not. Okay, going back. We brake performance. Brake performance. Oh, very oh cool. you can time your brake performance. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it's this so is so awesome. cool. Yeah. Lap timer, obviously. Lap timer, you can do your racetrack, one, two, three. Yeah. Start, result, customization, my color. So there's tons of color you can change oh, yeah. for your um, ambient lighting, if primary and secondary, your displays, that's for your display. So if you change your color, yep. the display changes. Yep, so I've just changed it to blue and now it changes to blue. Yes, so we have color. a secondary color, primary color, and your ambient lighting here, you can, there's tons you can change as mm. well. So this is very, very customizable. Mm. And you have your, um, 
climate control always down the bottom yeah so it's always accessible i don't think we've actually talked about these auxiliary gauges because those are different oh right oh, so this is a different right. display so this is a di different display yes. yeah for your um, other gauges so it shows yeah. you all the vitals of the car your g meter your braking acceleration lateral g's yeah and yeah, i think you can you can have whatever you want uh -huh. on that you can even you customize, can also it. customize yeah. it at what sort of um, status you want to see wow so this is the home button if you press the home button you come to the home screen you have the gps you have your radio connect your settings yep oh yeah there's a whole so bunch of settings in there as well a whole bunch of settings you press home again and you got your features your which features, we were just in before uh your mustang which is this button right here and your apps it's actually really easy to use once you get used to it it's mm. actually really easy to use very intuitive yeah. very easy to access everything mm. all right that was a fun drive that was incredible frank yeah really really fun i'm yeah. surprised like how much fun and how amazing this car is especially for the price right mm. really bang for buck yeah uh the engine's great yeah. sounds amazing looks great as well so yeah if you're looking for an all-rounder sports car you know that does everything almost you know in a very fun way yeah this is really good yes right yeah i agree um, it's got plenty of power good acceleration it's a little bit heavy and probably not the best in the corners mm. but you're still having a lot of fun actually exactly. even when you're driving in the yeah. corners i think driving this car you don't have to be super fast no. to enjoy it no you don't right yeah i mean when you think about the price and the competitors I don't think there's any other car around this price range mm. where you can get almost 500 horsepower, a V8, naturally aspirated V8. Exactly. And the Dark Horse has a manual as well, mm. which is a little bit more expensive. You literally cannot even think of any other car that's around this price range right. for, for that sort of value. Exactly. So special thanks to John Andrew Ford in Guaylin to uh, for lending us this car to review. Uh, do uh, ring them up and they're really helpful. Yeah. So thank you again for watching this video. I uh, hope to see you in our next video.